That's a question for Ryan. Uh, after, after watching the game again, what do you, you think of the overall play of the offense? Uh, we, I feel like we did some great things. We also did some uh, bad things. I felt like we were just a little rusty a little bit. But um, I felt like as the game went along, we got better and better. Um, simple game plan, we just had to go out and make adjustments and execute. That's all. Uh, it's, it's a good thing to have Cam Petway back in the floor with things. Um, it also opens up more things. Uh, gives the uh, opponent uh, more things to worry about also. So having a uh, camp pet is always a good thing. Just talking about going into your junior season, it looked like you're ready to have a breakout year. Feel that way? Oh, definitely. Uh, I definitely put the hard work in. Um, I always waited my time. And I feel like this is my time now to uh, actually showcase it. And um, just a season opportunity. That's all, just uh, waiting and waiting. And now it has come, you just got to know when your opportunity is there and just got to seize it. It's like you're pretty serious about getting the ball in the end zone. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Um, I just, it was, I seen the two uh, middle backers blitz. I knew automatically uh, I was hot. And uh, Jared in the offensive line did a great job. And uh, he seen me quickly, just got the ball in my hands. It was on me to get in the end zone. How much do you? Uh, we feed us a lot. Um, we push each other every day. Uh, get, uh, we want uh, queer guys on the team, so we do nothing but expect each other to get open. Um, Coach Burns expects us not to be able to guard in open space. In um, open space, he expects us to make plays, and that's what we do. Every time he make a play, he's like, yeah, it's your turn. Every time I make a play, it's his turn. So we always expect each other to make plays. Do you, do you ever skip when you run around, though? Uh, it depends if, if it's the player designed that way. But, um, you know, Will, he's, he's a unique, unique guy, and he has a certain way to get open, and he's just a great uh, – he does a great job of doing that. But it's different for you, right? You might run that around a little different. I'm, uh, it depends. Uh, sometimes if it's designed that way, I may. But uh, Will, he does the different ways of running his routes. I, sometimes I run different ways of running my own. When, when you look at Will and see everything that he's been able to do after coming out of the ball, what do you think of that? Um, like I said, it's all about opportunity. Life is all about opportunity. Um, we was just one of those guys that was just waiting for his opportunity, and Coach Burns gave him that opportunity, and he just took a full advantage of it, and he just ran full stride with it. It was one of those guys that come to work every day, um, just puts the work in, put the time in, and uh, everything's working out for him in his favor right now. Where, where, where do you feel like you've made the most improvement in your game since last year? Uh, just the understanding of uh, – of coverages and uh, being able to move around in different positions. I would say just understanding the whole offense and being here a while now that coaches are comfortable with moving me in different positions and that they don't have to take me out of the game. There's just no drop off wherever I go. How much does it change things that, that you guys have, have option routes now where you're kind of reading coverage and doing those things? How much does that help you, especially you and Will on the uh, that I think it just helps uh, us peer as a whole offense. Um, give us the ability to do more things in the passing game as well. We uh, we're not limited at all, and uh, it gives helps us like if blitzes and stuff like that. So I think it just helps the quarterback also give him options if something's not there that we may think there. And then sometimes we read a certain coverage, we sit down, or maybe we we run through if it's man. So that that's what uh, in this offense now that gives us the opportunity to do. Oh, definitely. Like I say, even with uh, having Cam back and key players like that, and having Kyle, he's another uh, key player that's going to help us, and he's going to make big plays when she come back and he getting the flow of things. So just having all our guys and all our weapons going into Death Valley is going to help us a lot. Uh, I mean, you really can't simulate it. Uh, I mean, we try to make, we're going to probably try to make uh, loud noises and practice, play loud music or whatever, but you can never simulate being at a place like that. Have you heard, or what did you hear about the environment there? I heard very hostile, um, crowd very rowdy, um, you know, coming down the hill, they get, they get really excited about that. I've never been before, so it's going to be my first time for me as well. What do you remember about that game against Carson? Uh, I remember just left a lot of opportunities out there. Um, a lot of stuff that we could have corrected, but I know going into this game, now we're very motivated and uh, we're just ready to bounce back from last year. Is that something that's kind of stuck with you guys since last year? 
Oh, definitely, because we know we left some things out there that, that uh, we could have made some extra plays or it could have been so just some key opponent, uh, key components to that game that we didn't make and key plays that we didn't make that we should have been made and got in the red zone some time, didn't execute. So it's just little, little things like that that we know we have to just execute on all cylinders of the game to win. What does it do for you knowing who the quarterback is? Last year, still three guys. Right. Um, yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, just having the rhythm, uh, you know, you did get different quarterbacks in and different timing and stuff like that. Now we know who the guy is and we know what we're going to get. And he just knows the, uh, what, uh, all the receivers. And it's just timing, really, I would say. How, how, how much did you see Jared settle in as the game went along, especially in the second half? I seen it. I mean, you're gonna see it. Uh, he settled in as the game went along, just getting comfortable. I mean, you got to think a man didn't play a, a live game in two plus years, so it was just all about us as a team, just getting behind him, just say relax, you know, calm down. You haven't played in a long time. Every, the game's gonna come to you, and the game as he kept playing, he just naturally the game just came and the flow of the game came to him, and he was able to execute at a high level. And you're gonna see from this week to next week, he's gonna make a tremendous jump, and his uh, levels of game just gonna keep elevating. Ryan, you, you, you've never been to Fenton, but you, you've been to Baton Rouge, you touched the loose Right. Places. How do you deal with those kinds of atmospheres as a player? Uh, you just have to block everything out. You just have to be mentally focused. You just have to lock in. You're not home where, you know, when you're on offense, everybody's quiet and the sit knows everything. You could kind of at your own little pace, but now you're on the road. Everything's going a little faster. Everything's a little louder, and you just have to kind of slow things down and just – Lock in. That's the main thing. You have to stay focused. You guys good? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.